agree with, I actually agree that there is a reason for state universities to exist because there are programs with a very high social return and a very low private return. Therefore, they need to be subsidized, etc. But, but, I agree with you. I think the best way to do it is really to encourage more public financing for high quality private education. All of our surveys show that in terms of choice, all things being equal, price being equal, there is still a perception in the market that the private sector, private education is still better than public education, sans UP and the PUPs in this world, right? So if, if they were on a level price field, people would actually move away from low quality uh, state into a hopefully higher quality. Well, the problem is the way our regulatory framework is designed, it's designed to catch the crooks and not to help the good, one, good guys. So we're busy trying to keep down the bad guys and not incentivize the good guys. If you allow a market where the good guys, the good schools, are allowed to expand, for example, into the markets where there are no good guys, this would kill the, it's, 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 it's typical, I'm sorry, I'm speaking as a businessman, it's typical business. If we allowed more FPUs to easily expand into the markets where there are, there is a desire and a need for, for better quality education, they will end up uh, uh, killing the small, small, the smaller, lower quality, quality schools. Except that that regulatory framework does not exist because there's historically government has been so worried about the expansion of bad schools that they simply prevented everybody else from expanding as well. So I think that the frame of mind has to change away from a trying to keep bad behavior down and trying to encourage and, and incentivize good behavior. And I think let the market play. And I think this will answer a lot of questions.